Yoda's mantra to do or do not, there is no try, keeps psychiatrist couches occupied and a lot of my client base coming back. If implored to do, somehow we fall short and do not, then at least for most of us, it means we've failed. Really, there's only try. We can't manage outcomes. We can only manage the processes that stand the best chance of yielding those outcomes. That's what try means. Six years ago, I ran the St. Louis version of the Susan Komen 5K Run, the fundraiser for breast cancer research. I was a spry 59-year-old who hadn't run since his cross-country days in high school. But I laced up my shoes to do the Komen 5K. I did a little jogging in the neighborhood a couple of weeks before, but no serious training. Yoda was my master. I would just do. Well, I did, but the results were just short of devastating. I heard from muscles I hadn't even known I had up until then. But it started me to enjoy running again, and I ran for another three years, several more 5Ks, many early mornings on either my three and a half mile loop or my six mile loop around my suburban St. Louis community. And then the knee started acting up. On advice from my brother-in-law, who was a lifetime runner, who had experienced the same sort of thing, and my doctor, I stopped running and got on a spinning bike, much less pounding of aging knee tissue. Then last winter, with absolutely no warning, my knee popped. I was just getting out of my car, and I pulled my trailing leg behind. Uh, the pain was unbelievable. Meniscus, they said, that tissue that pads the space between the bones of the knee had become displaced. I could not go up or down stairs or even walk in my own home without the aid of a cane. It was crippling. Over the next five to 10 days, however, the pain recited, the errant tissue shifted back in place, and I slowly gained my ability to walk unaided once again. But as if to remind me of my age, it went again while stretching after a spinning class. This was the reason that I was in a brace for the entire weekend of the 100 Acre Wood Rally last February. The connecting tissue had grown weak, and it appeared that this was going to be my life from now on. My local massage therapist, Mandy Pewitt, is a craniofacial expert and extremely knowledgeable in working with connecting tissue. In five sessions, all with my clothes on, she had me walking again and working in the weight room, strengthening those errant tissues. I began to go for short walks, then longer. On sidewalks, which had previously just aggravated the hell out of the knee, no problem. Then, as if on cue, a friend of mine laid down the gauntlet. How about doing the Komen 5K again? Well, there's that do again. I'll try, I replied. But my try didn't mean that you'll never see me again, as some do. It meant I'll engage in the processes to give the do the best possibility. I continued my spinning classes, added additional leg work in the weight room, and started to run small amounts, quarter mile, half mile, up to a mile, then two, then three. On Father's Day last Sunday, I ran three and a half miles. Yep. That's longer than a 5K. No knee pain. It's a process. That I can do. So this coming Sunday, Saturday morning, I'll run the St. Louis Coleman 5K race. If you see pictures, I'll be the guy with the pink on. Tremendous cause, worthy of tremendous effort. They are continuously trying to find the cures for that insidious disease that strikes my favorite feminine anatomical part. The do will occur. Meanwhile, they and I will keep trying. I'm Kim DeMott, and this is another Moment of Clarity.